I think it, it re reflects some of the current problems that India is facing. It's had a number of uh, indicators that are worse than it has been in the past. It doesn't uh, take into account the potential for India, the changes that might occur with additional liberalization, additional investment. Um, that looks like there's going to be a good monsoon, and I think uh, that it it doesn't reflect those things. It obviously would be a, a setback for India's hopes to continue to grow uh, at the 8-9 percent rate. I think India is already playing an important role in a, several different sectors. Uh, the Indian private sector has come into Afghanistan and looked for opportunities to invest in mining and commercial ventures. Uh, we're continuing to encourage them to do that, and India is going to host a investors conference on the 28th of June uh, for the international community to look at other opportunities for investment in Afghanistan. They're also working on energy projects, and uh, this would be in connection with Afghanistan, uh, Turkmenistan, Pakistan, and India. And this is another way of integrating. Um, Secretary Panetta, Secretary Clinton have both emphasized the efforts that we hope India will engage with the international community to help integrate Afghanistan into the new Silk Road or into the region economically, politically. Uh, we see that as being very, very positive in terms of stability. India has also trained a limited number of security officials from the Army, from the police. We hope that that will continue, and we value that training. I think what we're looking for is a way to uh, encourage the entire region to work together. It doesn't have to be against anyone. It can be for um, the entire region looking for prosperity, for stability, for greater growth and democratic participation. And I think India is key to that, and uh, our own efforts have been along those lines. I think it's trying to maximize the potential. All of us see enormous uh, ways to grow the relationship, uh, looking for those ways to overcome the obstacles that don't allow us to maximize it. And particularly on the trade side, those are identifiable and we can begin to work on them. I'm looking forward to engaging with the Indian government, the Indian private sector, our American government and private sector, and looking to do that. Um, we have a number of dialogues going on that uh, identify areas where we can work together and to explain where we can't uh, work together and have a productive relationship, even if we don't always agree on everything. 